So on the show, um, I heard you say that there are some, quote, heavy moments coming up. And when yeah. I hear that, Mandy, I'm like already booking therapy sessions in my mind. <laughs> so like, what Me do you too. mean heavy moments? Every week there's a heavy moment. I know. So when you're sort of foreshadowing that, I want to know on a scale of like, let's say like Toby flash dancing at the pregnancy news, which is like, you know, me tearing up happy tears, yeah. to say William's death. How um, heavy are these heavy moments that are coming they're up? They're going to be sort of um, ugh, floating around the ladder. Yeah. William. Yeah. Okay. I think that Oof. there's, I mean, there's just, there's darkness coming. There's, uh, we have a couple of episodes. In fact, the next three episodes are sort of a, a trilogy of sorts. Mm -hmm. And they go to some deeply, darkly places. I think that people are um, going to have a lot of opinions about, but I suggest uh, that people be patient and stick with it because we need to go there in order to there will be bigger payoffs later okay. down the road in this season. Are you amazed at how people are looking at every tiny little nugget yeah. about Jack's, de Jack's death? And like, you know, the personal effects in the back of your car weren't, uh, weren't burnt. There were like all these little details that the yeah. fans are picking up on that I feel like it really is the new loss, I mean, which is so bizarre. <laughs> it is bizarre that yeah. a family ensemble drama would have people picking apart like the minutia of episodes. I didn't episodes. see that coming. I yeah. didn't, uh, nor did any of us. <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, people are going to always read into it what they will. Uh, I, I think, again, I would just like suggest that people be patient and it will all unfold in a spectacular way, and I don't think people will be disappointed. Do you like seeing what the fans are saying as far as what they're guessing? Or do you try to sort of stay away from I that? I try to stay away from it, because okay. people are very opinionated. Yeah. I had no idea. I've never been a part of something like this before, and I was right. like, whoa! People have very strong opinions about certain characters and certain choices that characters have made, so I'm like, I'm going to stay off the Facebook for a little <laughs> bit, because that's you get like a little defensive. Yeah. yeah. Now, speaking of the Facebook, yeah. we now know that that's how she <laughs> that Rebecca and Miguel reconnected, reconnected after eight years, yeah. which I think is very sweet. And we're starting to get a sense of why we can't really hate Miguel, yeah. which is nice. I've known that all along. Right. And I mean, he's lovely in person. He's the loveliest guy. I yeah. love John Huertas, but, um, <laughs> but I think that Miguel will, people will sort of fall in line and, and learn to love him as well. He's never going to be Jack, but you know, I think when somebody loses a spouse, especially in the, the way that Rebecca lost her spouse, like you still want to champion somebody for moving on with their life and finding happiness again. Right. And no relationship's going to be the same. Like right. it's a different kind of love.